to fuel their hustle this week. Kyle, you're up. It's interesting how it goes. I think Dak, he needs to get to fuel his hustle a little bit. Um, <laughs> I'm going to look at a guy who fuels his hustle with some pretzel sticks and a crispy boy after he mows the lawn. I'm looking at Ryan Fitzpatrick. <laughs> Ryan Fitzpatrick, oh, we're big underdogs. The big bad Patriots are coming in. He's seen it all. It, it, this is Rooster Cogburn. I've been through everything. I'm not intimidated. The fact is that Ryan Fitzpatrick has thrown more touchdowns against the New England Patriots than any other team in the NFL. The fact is that in week three of 2011, Ryan Fitzpatrick had a gorgeous, courageous win against the New England Patriots at the height of their powers for the Bills. Guys, this is the last time the Buffalo Bills beat Tom Brady from start to finish. Fitzpatrick was incredible. He is completely unafraid. And can I tell you, is there anybody who's better cast for, if you look at what happened with the Dolphins right now, that they're obviously bad, and there's this idea that the players are stomping their feet, and they don't like it, and they want out. That's what Ryan Fitzpatrick does every single day when he gets home, stomping kids who don't want to be there. Let me tell you a story. Last night, I had parent-teacher conferences to start kindergarten. Oh. The job was that you show up as a parent, and you're supposed to do a drawing for your kid that he's going to get the next day. He comes in his desk, and daddy and mommy left a drawing Cute. there. I spent an hour at this thing. I drew Black Panther. It was the best drawing I've ever done. Okay. I worked my butt off on it. I wasn't listening to the teacher at all. And I wrote, Calvin Forever. I did this incredible, incredible drawing. Brooke took video of my wife of Calvin showing up this morning to yeah. school. He walks in like this. He gets to his desk, he goes. And he sat down and just looked. He didn't even look at the drawing. That is what the Miami Dolphins are doing. They're not even looking at the drawing. It is upon Ryan Fitzpatrick to be like, I'll do another drawing. That's fine. You want Ant-Man this time? I'll do that. That's what he's got. My heart's a little broken. I know. And I think Ryan Fitzpatrick shows you up. You were a little crabby this morning. Is that why? No. Yeah, I got complete. I would run the video, but there's other kids in it. I'll show you guys in the commercial. Okay. It's heartbreaking. It's heartbreaking. <laughs> Unbelievable. I worked so hard on that. Yeah, you did. It, look, it looked cool. Kyle. I feel so Kyle. Good. Yes. You're a good dad. You're good. Thank you. You're a good dad. <laughs> I'm a little concerned to me that it was black. You're a good dad, Kyle. Through, like... You're a good dad. Yeah, it's all right. Let it go, man. Let it go. All right, here we go. He's going to the cookout now, though. Nate, Nate. <laughs> I mean, if I draw, I should have drawn Thor. I think, I mean, I'm a bad dad. They oh, oh, need to feel their hustle. Uh, I'm going to go <laughs> with the Thank Falcons' you. wide receivers. And it starts with Julio Jones, okay. Muhammad Sunu, and Calvin Ridley. For me, it's more than just trying to feed these guys the ball occasionally. Just drop back and throw these guys the rock. They combined for 140 yards. How about you just go old school football, line these guys up and let it go? You don't need all the extras. You don't need all the little okay. things that make it more difficult. It's just like Goikos. You have zero sweeteners, zero artificial sugars, and zero fat. Okay. Just go straight to the goodness. And that is this wide receiver core. Listen, the tight end. Let the let the team in receiving. How are you going to have Hooper lead the team in receiving yeah, when you right. have yeah. three dominant wideouts? So it's up to these wideouts to help this team go to one and one because they haven't started 0-2 since 2007. Ooh, there we go. No artificial sweeteners, no fat. We love Oikos Triple Don't Zero. Don't sleep on the protein either, Kay. Listen, yeah, I, lo <laughs> I love my Bears, right? We, my, my hometown, we were there all week last week, and I loved all of the celebrations for their 100th year, for the 100th year of the NFL, and I loved kickoff. The one thing I was concerned about, and I talked to Kyle about it a lot, was... This feels like a Super Bowl. Why are we starting the season with a Super Bowl? There's a lot of pressure, and there we have it. The Bears put up three points in their Super Bowl to kick off the year. I look at coaches sometimes, and I picture them as guys playing video games on the sideline. They've got the remote control in their hand, and they're pressing buttons. Well, Nagy and his play calling, I mean, every button he pushed, the 2018 Coach of the Year was the wrong one. It did not work out on any play. I was in the stands with the people of Chicago. There was no magic last Thursday night. There was absolutely no magic. So now you gotta go to Denver. And now you gotta take on your former defensive coordinator, who everybody knows and loves. And I know that you kept Aaron Rodgers to three, 10 points with that defense. I expect you to win that game then, keeping Rodgers and company yeah. to just yeah. 10 points. Bring it in a really tough test against the Broncos. Push the right buttons and feel your hustle. It's a great call. No doubt. I, I always think when Matt Nagy showed up and he took all this heat in the offseason about the way he was handling the kickers and the way he wasn't playing the players in the preseason, and my answer is always everything Matt Nagy has done has worked. Until Matt Nagy steps in it, I'll agree with him. He stepped in it, and this is the first time I was. He stepped in a big time week one. He's got to respond. Strikes, if they lose, they will then be two games behind whoever wins Vikings Packers this mm, weekend. Right. You can't do that in the NFC North. No, no doubt. That one, that one's still stinging on him. I, I look at the team that Nagy used to coach, the Kansas City Chiefs, and they had a star player that went down with an injury in Tyreek Hill. 
The Chiefs would play 59 snaps following the Tyreek Hill injury on Sunday against the Jaguars. Nicole Hardman was in on 53 of them. If Ooh. you're looking for a fill-in for Tyreek Hill, it's a rookie named Nicole Hardman. If you have not gotten to know Nicole Hardman, he's one of the fastest players in the NFL, and it's just his first year in the league. He can do it all. And in this case, he was returning kicks last year, last week. He's going to be playing the Tyreek Hill role in the offense. I think you're going to see a lot of Nicole Hardman. You're going to hear a lot about Nicole Hardman. The beauty of it is, he wants to do everything he can and knows he's not Tyreek Hill. In fact, he tweeted out and said, hey, I'm still just playing the role, big bro. And Tyreek Hill wrote back to him on Twitter and was like, I got you. You're going to do just fine. This team is so loaded. I, I think that McCoy is going to play better. I think Sammy's going to have another big game. I think Kelsey's going to be solid. Mecole Hardman's going to have at least one or two big plays. Mm. And everyone's going to say, OK, here we go. Here's another star speed guy on the Chiefs. Mecole Hardman, big spot for him. Week two in Oakland. I think he's going to step up and deliver. Sammy Watkins, will he be part of the game plan? Oh, it's not yes. as featured maybe as as he was. So everybody, it's oh, all yes. systems go. Yes, and the Raiders without Gary and Conley and without yep. Jonathan Abram, I think this is going to be an aerial assault from Patrick Mahomes. I know, Kyle, you took the Raiders to win this game. I could think of Mamotion and a home crowd and all that stuff. Mahomes is so good in these spots, coming in and silencing your crowd right away. Great on the road. I think Mahomes you gets it You anticipated do we need Tyreek storyline after this game? You Ooh. might, but we haven't heard it all this week. That's how... I wouldn't say confident. I would almost say everyone just takes for granted how almost good this prepared. Chief's offense is. Almost. Tyreek Hill's one of the best receivers in the league. Can mm. this rookie step up? Yeah. I think he can. Do wow. we need a hashtag for him? I feel like once he makes that big play, everybody has to tweet Triggs. That's it. Okay. Hashtag Nicole something. Mm. Is there yeah, we'll figure it out. He'll work on it. Nicole, <laughs> my love. He puts me first. I'm not sure. Yeah, 